you look through the alumni list and it's like, it's pretty white. We can see stories where race isn't at the centre. Crazy Rich Asians, these people exist and we can have movies like this. And I remember feeling so um, inspired that a character like this could exist on Australian screens. Today I get to bring you close up to one of the stars of New Gold Mountain on SBS. They were nominated for a Silver Logie for the role and won Best Supporting Actress at the Asian Academy Awards. It's Mabel Lee. Welcome. Oh wow. We're a bit tall. It's perfect. Sure. It's perfect. Okay. Um, what have we you brought with you? I have some taro boba milk tea. Would, would you I like? I have never tried. Mm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so nice. I'm just thinking of your parents and you deciding you want to be an actor. Yeah. How did they take that? My mum took it really well. Like, she'd take me aside and be like, you can do whatever you want. Like, just always know that. You can do whatever you want, um, as long as you work hard. My dad, my dad was supportive, but he still had that thing where he'd pick me up from drama school and be like, this is the salary of, of an orthodontist. <laughs> like, just, just dropping it in, but he would still be supportive. Like, <laughs> I think after I did New Gold Mountain, and I guess they saw that kind of story being on Australian screens. He was like, okay, this is what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you even want to go to drama school? Where did that first come from? Oh, I, I was like, what's an in to the industry? Looked it up, drama school. Okay, NIDA, WAPA, all of those places. And I was like, I'm just gonna try. I really didn't think I was gonna get in because you look through the alumni list and it's like, it's pretty white. Um, I think I scrolled back like seven pages to find like someone that looked like me. Um, I did the same thing. Just one person. Yeah, yeah. I did the exact same yeah. thing. Looking back, just having those low expectations made me really loose. I felt like I could access a playfulness um, despite being in such a high, like a, a, a pressurized environment. Because auditions suck um, yeah. and they're, they're weird. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> graduate from drama mm. school and you just said auditions suck. So talk to me about booking your first role. Oh, I remember doing the New Gold Mountain audition first. Assess our daily intake figures against your tallies over the last few months. There are always variances in the take. I account for that. Next step is to check over your books. I can feel you cringing mm. behind me. Why are you it cringing? What's <laughs> to me about. It's it's hard not to feel um, disgustingly self-conscious. I guess for me, watching my tapes back um, with other people. I mean, this is a role that you got. So, what was happening on that day three years ago? I remember being really excited for this tape because the character was just so juicy and yeah. defined, and it was a period drama set in Australia. What do, I remember like picking out the shirt and this day's necklace that my grandma gave me when I was born. For this character, I'm just needing this spirit. She, she brought me up partly, so I've, I've been very close to her. And I remember feeling so um, inspired that a character like this could exist on Australian screens. Yeah, just such a high status Chinese, young Chinese woman. Do you think the industry is getting better at that? I think so. I, I love that now we can see stories where race isn't at the center of yeah. them. I think what's really exciting is we're entering this time as creatives of color, where we have the permission um, to, to make stories where race isn't central to the story. That's, that's been paved by like, you know, these big sort of movies. Like I'm, I'm thinking of like Crazy Rich Asians. I'm thinking of Black Panther. I'm thinking of these, these movies where at the time they really broke 
open the industry um, and people were like, oh, these people exist and we can have movies like this. How do you identify? I identify as Chinese or being Chinese Australian. Are people casting you as just Chinese Australian? Mm. Well, for the play that I did late last year, Never Closer, I play an Irish, a Northern Irish girl and then woman in the play. Every night we'd have such a wonderful response from different audience members and some nights there would be Asian Irish, Asian Northern Irish people in the audience and they'd come up to me and be like, I'm so happy to see you play this role. There are Asian people in Ireland. <laughs> people forget that you're not just from those yeah. origins, like yeah. as if you can only be African and, yeah. and live in Africa. I'm sick of talking about race. Are you mm. over talking about it? And where is the necessary point for you that, you know, because something's got to change and it can't change without talking about it. So totally. how do we have these conversations? There, is, there are days where I'm just like, oh, I'm sick of talking about this. I'd love to just talk about something else. And, and yeah, the, these conversations are tough, especially when like you're the one that has to walk out, walk out and live it. You might not find in your immediate community uh, someone who sees you or understands you, um, but you can find that online. And I think that's a really powerful tool. And I feel like we've just seen like in the past couple of years just how powerful social media can be as a tool to um, exchange information, to connect with people. I think it's a powerful tool. Sophie, this is an amazing space you've created. So, yeah, it's an honour. Thank you. It's actually my new house. So yeah. If you would like. And did you build this yourself? Um, all by myself. Yeah, all by, all yourself. by myself. Wow, <laughs> very impressive. Um, cheers. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Mm. So mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. The marriage one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm.